Oh, hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah, and today we are gonna talk about curly hair rules. I'm gonna tell you the curly girl method rules that I break and the ones I swear by. So I have wavy hair. My hair um, falls in the like 2C, 3A category. There's a few little curly curls, but for the most part, it's wavy hair. My hair is also low porosity. So that means that I've got kind of a different set of challenges when it comes to my curly hair. Because it's low porosity and wavy, that means my hair is fine, but there's a lot of it. And it also gets built up really quickly. So one of the rules I break with the curly girl method is I wash my hair every time. I don't co-wash, um, I actually shampoo my hair, but I use curly girl approved shampoos. My favorite right now is the Not Your Mother's line. I switch between the activated charcoal and the Hawaiian or Royal Honey, the yellow one. You know what I mean. So I go between the black one and the yellow one to wash my hair. Um, but I actually wash my hair twice a week. Um, so I do let my natural oils kind of build up on my hair. And another rule I break is I do a deep cleanse every once in a while. Um, my hair gets built up on it. That's just how it is. And I know a lot of wavies are like me where after a while using products and using leave-ins and things like that makes your hair feel really gunky and it gets really weighed down. And sometimes my curls and waves look almost straight. And I find that doing a really deep cleanse every once in a while, like not often, maybe once every six weeks or so, um, really helps bring the spring and bounce back into my hair. And I like the way that my scalp feels afterwards. Like I don't like a, a crunchy root. Um, so I like my hair to look soft and manageable and that really helps. Um, after I do the deep cleanse, and I'm talking like using the suave that gets everything out of your hair, I do a really nice hydrating thick mask to just kind of rebuild everything that um, was removed with that cleanse. The next curly girl rule I break is using heat. I use hot water when I wash and rinse my hair and I use hot when I dry it with a diffuser. <laughs> Because of the structure of my hair, using heat is actually really helpful for low porosity. It helps to open up the cuticle so the moisture can get in. Um, and honestly, my hair takes a thousand years to dry. If I didn't use heat, it would never dry. And what are the Curly Girl rules that I absolutely swear by? Using Curly Girl approved products, for sure. I'm talking no parabens, no silicones, no sulfates, no waxes, none of the stuff that like coats your hair and keeps the moisture out because I have found like this part of my hair used to be straight. Like I'm talking stick straight. And now I've got boingy curls. It's because the moisture is in and I'm taking all of that junky stuff out of my products. And I can really definitely tell a huge difference in my hair. Like in my life, I would have never thought that I would see this ever. And the next one I 100% swear by is not using a terry cloth towel. I use a t-shirt to wrap my hair up after I get out of the shower. Some people like to use a microfiber towel, which they swear by, but I I find just using a t-shirt works great. It doesn't damage my hair and it um, it's really great for scrunching out the kind of crunchy parts after I use a gel too. So that's kind of a quick rundown of the curly girl rules that I break and the ones I definitely follow. <laughs> If you want to know more about my curly girl journey, I'll link right here to the playlist. I've got a few videos of products that I absolutely love, and you can see where I started and where I am now. It's kind of fun. If you like this super quick video about my curly hair rules and rule breaking, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I'll love you forever. All right, have a super great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.